So our first top tip for designing effective visualisations is to think carefully about how you use colour. The rainbow colour scales are really popular in scientific visualisations. You see them everywhere. And that's because they're attractive and because they're often the default choice in the plotting programmes. But a visualisation needs to be more than just attractive. It needs to convey your data faithfully and it needs to be quick for people to interpret. And rainbow colour scales can cause problems on both of those things. So let me show you an example. What you see in the left-hand panel is a map of total column ozone plotted using a rainbow colour scale. And what the scientists are looking for is whether there are any boundaries or fronts between air masses. And you see the lines that are appearing and disappearing show where the scientists think those fronts might be. And the blue line indicates a potential front in the subtropics. Now the middle panel shows the same data but plotted using a different colour scale. And that front appears to have vanished, so which one is right? Plotted on the right is the gradient of total column ozone. And the darker colours here indicate where there might be a front in the data. And we can see evidence for such a front at the mid-latitudes, but not in the subtropics. That front was a mirage produced by the rainbow colour scale used in the plot on the left. So the problem with these rainbow colour scales is that the brightness of the colours in the scale are changing at the same time as the colours, the hues. And our eyes are drawn to these changes in brightness, particularly around the yellow and the cyan, and so we perceive boundaries or discontinuities in the data where none exist. 